Let's go. And we will sing. Oh. Tuesday. The live boy today is also celebrating St. Andrew, one of the disciples of the apostles that was with Christ. He was with Christ, with Jesus Christ, he walked with him. In fact, he was the very first disciple that was called to follow Jesus, according to so many accounts. And so the topic today is Andrew. An example of obedient and active discipleship and today is St. Andrew's Day like I said and uh, I'll explain further why it is St. Andrew's Day or perhaps I should just go ahead and let you know that St. Andrew was reported to have been crucified on the 30th day of May 60 AD by the governor of Greece because he was restrained he was asked not to preach in Greece and Andrew insisted that he would preach, he would be obedient and active in his discipleship and that eventually led to the governor pronouncing that he should be crucified. Well, let's go to the scripture that we have to read today and that's in the gospel according to St. Matthew beginning from the 18th verse of the fourth chapter. If you are set, let's go there together. And Jesus, walking by the sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter, and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. And going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, in a ship with Zebedee their father, mending their nets. And he called them, and they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. This is the gospel of Christ, praise to Christ our Lord. Talking about Andrew, an example of obedience and active discipleship, you can see that even he's being called according to this um, story was an immediate thing. It was, he left everything he was doing and he followed Christ. In fact, another account in the gospel according to St. John in chapter 1, if you read from about verse 35 to verse 41, would indicate to you that he was perhaps the first to be called, and maybe not when his younger brother Peter was with him, but he first went to look for his brother. You see that account in the first verse of that uh, chapter 1 of the gospel according to St. John. And so, that level of commitment to active discipleship made him to first connect his brother. If you read the account 
in St. Matthew you will discover that he was actually walking by the sea with his brother when he was called and others that were called at the same time also left whatever they were doing and they followed Christ. But if you read the account of uh, St. John in the gospel that he recorded, you'll see that Andrew and another were actually originally disciples of John the Baptist. And the moment John the Baptist cited Jesus and said, this is the Messiah, immediately they just started following Jesus. So I would put it in the parlance that they decamped the way politicians will move from one party to another or they parted the way you will drop uh, a particular uh, telecommunications line that you're using and go to another. And he went for the very best that anybody could have gone for. That was to be an apostle and a disciple of Jesus. And he was an example of obedient and active discipleship all through. Part of his activities showcasing that he was very close to Jesus was that most of the time when people wanted to see Jesus, they approached him. In all probability, he was likely older than Jesus and one of the oldest disciples if he was not the very oldest. So there was always that respect, that regard for him and he had access to Jesus without flaunting it the way his brother Peter did in the sense that Peter, John and James were always with Jesus. But in spite of that, Andrew was always consulted whenever anybody wanted to see Jesus. And you see an example of that in the Gentiles that wanted to see Jesus in the Gospel according to St. John in chapter 12, read from verse 20 to verse 22. And part of the thing that would also indicate to you about his obedience and active discipleship was that when crucial issues arise like feeding the people, Andrew was always in charge without necessarily carrying the portfolio. You find the example in the uh, records of St. John in, uh, in the Gospel that he wrote in chapter 6 from verse 8 to verse 9, you discover that it was Andrew that told Jesus about the five loaves and two small fish which Jesus fed the multitude with that were taken from a small boy. So all in all, Andrew was always with Jesus, quietly doing a lot of things, obedient and active in his discipleship all the way to the end. And that end came, like I told you earlier on, on the 30th day of November, the year 60 AD. And that's why today being 30th day of November, we celebrate St. Andrew, who was crucified because he refused to stop preaching Christ as required of him by the governor of Greece. St. Andrew was an example of obedience and active discipleship. What about you? Are you also a disciple that is obedient and active? How many people have you ministered the gospel to today? And how many people are you trying to show the way of salvation, not only by your words of mouth, but also by your character? You should also learn lessons from the life of Andrew in the sense, and this lesson, I've mentioned it once or twice before, and not everybody agreed with me, but let me still see how you will take that lesson again that I learned about the life of Andrew. This may not be exactly positive about him. This may be the fact that in spite of the fact that he drew his younger brother, Peter, to Jesus, according to the record of St. John in his own gospel, somehow, perhaps because of his age, perhaps because of uh, his own personality, he allowed people like Peter, James, and John, who were subsequent disciples, to eventually take pride of positions ahead of him. Maybe it's humility, but whatever, what we are celebrating today is Andrew as an example of obedient and active disciple. And I pray that you will also be active all the days of your life. 
and we'll be able to count you obedient and worthy of the kingdom as a disciple of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. But that's for you if you know Christ. If you yet do not know Christ, this is an opportunity for you to also get to know Christ, to give your life to Christ so that you can also join along that uh, path of discipleship and be an example of an obedient and active disciple. Are you ready to give your life to Christ? Then say this prayer after me. Say, Lord, I've come to you today. I also want to give my life to you so that I can start my own line and path of active discipleship. Give me the grace, Lord, that I may run that race to the end and reign in glory with you. I pray in Jesus' name. Welcome to the kingdom if you said that prayer. And for all of us together now, let's say, Dear Lord, in my work with you, help me to always respond swiftly to your call and to live an active life as an obedient disciple to the end, I pray in Jesus' name. So go out today. Remember that Andrew was an example of an obedient and active disciple and that today, 30th day of November, is St. Andrew's Day. God bless you. I judge you faithful. I call you faithful. I call you good.